close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. And keep at it, in and out, continually. Any other thoughts that come up in the mind, you can just let them go by. You're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. Qualities like mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, and alertness, the ability to know what you're actually doing and the results that you're getting. And a quality called ardency. In other words, you have to put yourself into this. It takes some doing to get this, to give results. So if you see something unskillful coming up, you just let it go. If there's a potential for something skillful, you try to develop it. And you put your whole heart into it, realizing that the good things in life come from making an effort. As the Buddha said, he taught the end of suffering. Well, the suffering doesn't just end on its own. Little pains may end, but then they're replaced by other ones. What we want is a state where there's no more suffering. And that requires work. You know, think about the work that you have to put into this and all the other good things we have to do. Being generous requires work. Being virtuous requires work, because there are parts of the mind that don't want to be generous, don't want to be virtuous. But you have to fight them off. And you start thinking about the people around you. There are people who have been generous to you, people who have been virtuous around you. They could have abused you, they could have done horrible things, but they didn't. They went out of their way to be good. It's good to be grateful for those people. The Pali word for gratitude, katanyu, literally means knowing what was done. Realizing that somebody had to go out of their way, get up at weird hours of the night, put up with a lot of hardships, or just go out of their way, not in, within the family, but other people, people like your teachers who went out of their way to teach you. The goodness we experience in life comes from people making an effort. And it's good to appreciate that. Because if you appreciate that, that means that you're more likely to want to put in an effort to your own efforts to be good, both for yourself and for the people around you. This is why they say that gratitude is a sign of a good person. If a person has no gratitude, then you really can't trust them. There was a case years back when the family lived down the hill from the monastery. The son from a previous marriage came and got into an argument with the father one night, kicked him down the stairs, broke both of his legs. And the first thing that John Fuhring said when he heard about that was, says, you can't trust the son. If he can do that to his father, he can do that to anybody. So you want to look around to people, and if the people don't show any gratitude, you realize you can't trust them. It's the people who have gratitude for what was done with them. They're the ones who are likely to go out of their way, because they appreciate the fact that other people have gone out of their way for them. And they see the virtue of that. And all too often, and these are the people we tend to take for granted, the ones who go out of their way consistently. It just seems to be part of the part of the landscape. But they had to make that choice. There was a horrible passage in a piece of positive psychology a while back saying, if you want people to appreciate you, don't be consistent in, in being good to them. And then the t rare times when you are good to them, they're really appreciated. Well, that's a, that's a recipe for disaster. How can society live that way? You realize that the people who have really been helpful are the ones who have been consistently good to you, and that encourages you to be consistently good in response to them, and also consistently good to people around you. So take some time to think about the people who have been good to you, the people you tend to take to grant, for granted, and make that an encouragement. To, if you can repay them in a way that's in line with the Dharma, go ahead. As the Buddha said, the best way to repay your parents is to, if they haven't been generous, teach them to be generous. If they haven't been virtuous, get them to be virtuous. Now, teaching your parents is a hard thing, but you can set a good example. And that way you get them on, on the path. And if they're not around anymore, okay, well, just try to take whatever goodness they've given you and carry it on. See how much you can spread that around to other people so you can keep their goodness alive in the world. And this way your goodness gets nourished by the fact that other people have been good to you and gone out of the way to be good for you. So you can go out of your way to be good for yourself and for the people around you.